In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4OH. We have silver nitrate, then we have ammonium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do here when we write balanced net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and everything's already balanced here. That's kind of nice. Next, we can write the states for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates, these nitrates, NO3, very soluble. So that's going to be AQ. It'll be aqueous, dissolve, split apart into ions. Ammonium compounds are also very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. For the silver hydroxide, silver compounds often are insoluble in hydroxides with a few exceptions like ammonium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. But let's check a solubility table just to be sure. So we have silver and then here's our hydroxide. So we go down and we go over and we get SS. That means it's slightly soluble. A little bit will dissolve, but most of it won't. Most of it will be a solid. So for the purposes of net ionic equations, we're going to consider this to be insoluble. It's going to be a solid. Little will dissolve, but almost all of it will be a solid. These two will react. This solid AgOH will be a precipitate. It will fall to the bottom of our test tube. So we have precipitation going on here. So we have our states. Next, we split strong electrolytes into their ions. That will give us the complete ionic equation. So Ag, that's always 1 plus the whole nitrate, 1 minus. So we'll have our silver ion, and I'll write the states later. We'll have our nitrate ion, NO3 minus. The ammonium ion, that's 1 plus. The hydroxide, that's 1 minus. So we'll have NH4 plus, that's our ammonium ion. And then our hydroxide ion, OH minus. And those will be our reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we'll have AgOH. We'll just keep this together. And then we have our ammonium nitrate here. So we have the plus and the minus. So we have our ammonium ion again, just like the reactants NH4 plus. And then we have our nitrate ion again, just like the reactants NO3 minus. So at this point, we'll cross our spectator ions out. They're on both sides. So I have my reactants here, and then down here, these are our products. In the reactants, I can see there is a nitrate ion, and in the products. So I'm going to cross that out. That's a spectator ion. I have an ammonium ion here, and again, in the products. Let's cross those out, spectator ions. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4OH. Let me clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH4OH, silver nitrate plus ammonium hydroxide. You note know, charge is conserved. We have a plus and a minus. That gives us a net charge of zero here in the reactants. In the products, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus ammonium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.